Welcome to the Hand Lab video course, Insight into the Interosseous Muscles. We've highlighted the dorsal interosseous muscles, significant flexion contractors of her fingers with an inability to extend because of the loss of the interosseous muscle function. We are looking at a dorsal belly and a volar belly of the dorsal interosseous muscles. Influence into the dorsal apparatus means that the dorsal belly must share its power of abduction with movement of the finger more distally. Here we see the tension directed to the most volar one, which is literally the lateral band. Three interosseous muscles all insert into the dorsal apparatus, even though they are considered to be primary adductors. On the long finger, I, you notice I have crossed out volar interosseous muscles because there are none. This position is primarily being accomplished by the interosseous muscles. The most complicated function to explain is that of the interosseous muscles during normal finger flexion. A normal synergistic motion which is explained beautifully by virtue of the anatomy of the volar interosseous muscles. The tension on this dorsal apparatus and thus allows rotation.